Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. This is a weekly segment where you get to ask me a question and I answer it at a later date. So this week's question is, how do I deal with non-vegans? So I guess, I guess that comes down to a few things. One of them in particular would be how many people do you hang around with or spend a lot of time with who are not vegan? I myself um, surround myself with people that are compassionate, that are, you know, passionate, enthusiastic type people that inspire me to be everything that I need to be and more and um, that I can have amazing conversations with about life, about politics, about the environment, about everything that we're all, com that we're all passionate about. Um, I enjoy hanging around with people that are positive and inspiring in what they do and I find that a lot of these people are vegan and I hang around with a lot of vegan people but I also hang around with people who aren't vegan and a lot of them are involved in other things that I'm passionate about like music, like AFL, Australian Football League and um, other, other things that I do like writing, social media, um, authors and um, speakers and things like that so I have quite a diverse group of friends and acquaintances um, now before I just came back or last year I came back from um, a six month adventure and I went over to Southeast Asia for six months before that I hung, hung around predominantly with my vegan friends now this is great because you can go out to places that you all love together you can you know all feel comfortable in that same sort of group that you all believe in similar sort of things and you can enjoy each other's company without feeling judged or having to explain yourself all the time when i was away in asia however the majority of people that i hung around with were not vegan but they were really um great people and they were really compassionate people and i just really enjoyed their company because we were all on the same sort of path we just wanted to go there and meet the locals um be immersed in the language be immersed in the culture and just just learn you know and um that's what i'm here for on this earth to educate and be educated you know and I, I find myself being drawn to those type of people all the time and those people that are just wanting to absorb everything they can that um, must be under the flight path today um, and they just want to surround themselves with like-minded people that really sort of get into their head and make them think and you know I love those sort of people and that doesn't matter nowadays to me whether they're vegan or they're not vegan obviously I'm not going to hang around with people that are judgmental in any form and this can be vegans this can be non-vegans I don't have time for drama and I don't have time for people that actually create and um, make drama continue in my life now you know I, ha I only have a limited amount of time um, for myself let alone to hang around with other people so when I do hang around with other people and spend time with other people I want it to be quality time that we're all getting something from the experience so um, my way that I deal with non-vegans I guess is the way I deal with vegans and the way I deal with everyone in this world is um, in an inclusive way like you know I try very hard not to be judgmental and I just I, I'm a friend to everyone you know until there's a reason that I shouldn't be a friend with someone you know and I bring everyone into my life and bring everyone into my friendship circle and I have a lot of really amazing friends and I have a lot of acquaintances too but um I find that that's the best way to deal with non-vegans. Don't be judgmental, don't be preachy. When I first became a vegan over 16 years ago, I just thought, I know this, it's the truth. And if I tell all these other people the truth, they also will know the truth and they'll become vegan. But um, it's not really that simple. You know, I, I, I felt it was right. I knew in my heart and my soul it was right. So I made, I made the decision to do it and then I you know found the facts and backed up what I knew was right afterwards and that's how I do a lot of things in my life I know from a intuitive or a level within that that's the path or that's what I should be doing and then I, I just work out why and how afterwards and there's a lot of people quite a few of my friends are more thinker style 
and they have to know all the facts first. They have to know, okay, this is what happens in this situation and if I get involved and don't do this and this is what will happen and all that sort of stuff. And then from the mental sort of stimulated side, they'll make this sort of decision. And um, so it, it really depends on the type of person and I try not to hang around with negative people. They can, and that is, there's a lot of vegans that are negative. There's a lot of non-vegans that are negative. That's, that's just the type of people I choose not to hang around with. So I suggest that you just work out the sort of people you want to hang around with. And sometimes this means you have to get rid of some people just, you know, to, to move to that next level of your life, the next level that you are here for. And um, it doesn't matter, I don't think, if they're a vegan or a non-vegan. Um, if someone's compassionate, if someone's a great person to hang around with and if someone inspires you and makes you think outside the square in many different ways, they're a great person to have in your life. And I find it hard living with non-vegans if they cook non-vegan food. I think that's just disgusting, like the smell, you know, at the very start. Um, and not to mention all the cruelty aspects and I find it hard when people I adore and people that I love that are so intelligent and they just don't get the vegan thing or they get it but they can't um, take it on board and do anything about it so I do feel a bit disheartened by that at times but then you know the majority of my friends that I've had since school or college or music sort of time they have all either become vegetarian or cook more vegan foods and things like that and we hang out at vegan places or they'll come and eat vegan things with me or I'll make sure I cook something if I go to their place. I try not to go to barbecues and places that I know will be predominantly non-vegan because it just upsets me. So you just have to choose what sort of, sit what sort of situations you would be comfortable in um, and then like say I always get asked about um, whether or not you should go to a non-vegan gathering like Christmas I always get asked about and that's up to you if you can't handle having all that animal flesh and everything around you then create a vegan Christmas you'll have to make every single meal on the menu and um, you may or may not be good um, in the kitchen but that's up to you and or you just bring your own food and just eat in the other room or don't look at people when they're eating <laughs> non-vegan food but um, yeah there's many ways to deal with with just people in general I think and I think you shouldn't um, try to divide like there's vegans and there's non-vegans or when you're a vegan you're an abolitionist or you're a welfareist or you're a health vegan or you're an ethical vegan there's just way too many labels there's way too many things that try to just put us into all these little boxes all the time and you just have to remember we're all human we're all connected somehow on this earth and just remember those connections with anything you're doing with people whether you know you're interacting with them online you know that can be really hard just don't bite a lot of people just want to create fires they want to create drama and just, you don't have to bite you don't have to um, react that's that's the whole thing one of one of my things um, I do social media marketing and one of my top tips if not the top tip is act don't react and I think online in particular but just in our general world just remember people normally are just trying to find out more information they might not may not know how to actually ask you this and they may have a lot of these judgments in their head or you may be around people that they want to impress you know there's so many variables but just remember don't be judgmental don't um, speak to someone as though you think they're being judgmental or trying to attack you and just if it seems like people are attacking someone or that they want a rise out of you just tone it down completely just respond um, with the least amount of um, that just with the basic information don't get let emotions get involved it's pretty simple and um, I hope this has helped you with how to deal with non-vegans or just people in general. And um, make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can see you next week for our questions and answers. Thank you.